Hello, this vehicle is the Compact 595 from La Marca. Atlantis Compact 595, monocoque design. Let's have a look inside. This thing here is gonna cost 140,000 euros. Let's have a walk inside. But what is quite impressive about this is this rear lounge. Six meter motorhome with a rear lounge. Is there a better six, a better rear lounge in a six meter motorhome? I can't think of one off the top of my head. I'm not saying there isn't one, I'm just saying I can't think of one. Uh, but anyway, let's come to the front. Now they've got rid of the, or didn't put in more at the point, a rear facing bench. That gives a lot of space. And at the end of the day, what do you need a semi dinette up front when you've got a big one at the back? Uh, this does look a little squashed maybe. Looks a bit, uh, you know, there's not a lot of space in here. But uh, on the opposite of looking a bit of squashed is this shower. Stacks of space in there. Look, I'll even come inside just to demonstrate. And I'll turn, now I don't even have to turn the camera around. There's me. Oh. Lots and lots of space. Eee, this is nice. I like this. Um, I'm not so keen on sinks like that, but I do appreciate it looks elegant and that's just my opinion. Uh, we've got a uh, window in the washroom coming out here. Kit, uh, fridge. There you go. Okay, two burners. And a sink with a screw in it. Storage below. Proper sides to the drawers. And storage around here as well. But the lounge is outstanding. Now I'm gonna turn the camera around as there's no mirror around here. Right, I'm one meter 75 and in, in, in this position you can see my head is touching the the bed so um if you're much taller than me that might be a bit of a problem oh, i'm sorry about it. an allergy <coughs> the uh the allergies okay it's the end of august now but um i've had a very light allergy season this year uh compared to last year when i was uh, pretty pretty felt pretty rough but anyway that apart i want to do a separate uh um video on health problems for people of my age because i know that most people watch this channel are also my age i like this i mean look it's easy to get in and out as well but often you find with some um rear lounges that it isn't so easy to get in and out but that that's that's quite good now one of the problems is of course that there's a lack of storage and uh, well so you've got a nice uh, wardrobe in there We've also got a double floor, which I shall demonstrate right now. There you go, there's the double floor, used for storage. But it's also good for getting your technical stuff in, the uh, your water tanks and uh, that type of stuff will go into there quite easily. There you go. This is a, a prototype, but I think, I think the style's quite nice. Anyway, let's have a look at this. I'll show you the bed. Note, before you take something down, what you need to do is move some stuff out the way. And as I can't see around the corner here, I'm gonna put this all to one side. I think somebody's already had a go at uh, putting that down. Put there, put all this somewhere safe. Because I can't see what's happening on the phone around there. And I'll leave that on the moment there for the moment. I would take it off under normal circumstances. Now, yeah, the position, that's safe, that's fire. This is, press this button, let's see it come down. Right, so, yeah, I didn't need to take that away from up there, but I didn't need to clean the 
table up anyway. Now obviously you can't sit under the table unless you're a particularly small or if you're a snake or something but you've got uh, the bed uh, now quite easy to get into. Quite easy? Well you might need a ladder actually to be quite fair but that's the space you've got in the bed. Now how about turning the rear lounge into a bed? So rather than having this bed and the lack of loss of height above, uh, how about having this to convert? That might work just as well. Although the seats often are not as comfortable as they could be. I'm trying to think of solutions to avoid uh, having a, a drop down bed if possible. Note up there, the window in the roof. So let's now put this back. Right, so that's going as far as it'll go. Not much space there. You leave a sheet on, but you're not going to leave any covers. And uh, there you go. We've got a cubby hole here, which unfortunately they didn't put a uh, cover to. Uh, got a USB there, light switch here. Yeah, storage below. So if you want one of these things here, La Marca, it's based in Landsberg am Lech in um, Bavaria, Germany. Let's have a look on the outside. A note here, the integrated Flynet. You've got your control panels up here, your heating, and uh, step down, that shows you where the double floor is. I wouldn't want a van without a double floor. And around here we've got the uh, garage. Now, one of the problems with a rear lounge is it doesn't have much in the way of storage. So that's what you've got. Although I think you could do with a, uh, a an opening at the other end as well. Here we've got the gas uh, cabinet, just one cylinder. Let's have a look around here. So that's the Atlantis Compact 595 from La Marca Mobility and uh, prototype model. But I, I, I'm pretty certain I've seen this before actually, although somebody was saying to me it's the first time it's uh, been shown. Anyway, this is Caravan Salon, it's a fair amount of people here. And this is the second least busy day. So, thanks for watching. Hope you found it interesting. I upload every, uh, was it? Every day at 21.15. So if you want to see more videos on cam uh, camper vans and motorhomes, this is the place to be for the moment. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.